everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Sabrina Marie or Marie J here on YouTube and today I have a more dramatic makeup look I've been doing a lot of neutral and natural makeup looks so I decided to go kind of the opposite for today I'm using both color and glitter which I hardly ever use on my channel but I hope you all enjoy it and while you're watching if you are enjoying the video make sure to give it a thumbs up that helps me out a lot also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already. And let's go ahead and move on to the tutorial. So to start off the look, I'm putting tape to kind of give me a nice guideline because this is going to be a sharper eye look. And then to prime my eyelids, I'm just going to stick to what I always prime my eyelids with, the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop. And I'm applying this with the Morphe E8 brush. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, I am in a new setup i moved in with chris if you guys don't know already i did post it on my instagram and i told you all on snapchat and then on my i think my last video or my video before that i put it in my description box too but if you haven't seen any of that we did move in together and i'm still not sure how i'm gonna do my filming setup because we didn't end up getting a two bedroom we only have a one bedroom and if our moving vlog isn't up yet it will be up soon i already started editing it so it should be up really really soon but yeah we moved in together and it is just it's still really weird i have gotten homesick i was homesick like the first day like the first few days right now i'm slowly still getting used to it but it's weird so i'm going to use the modern renaissance again but this time i'm doing more of a dramatic look with it but i'm going to use the modern renaissance palette again but this time i'm doing a more dramatic look i'm using most of my crease colors and my outer corner colors from this palette and then the color that's going to go on my lids is going to be this glittery blue so first i'm going to use burnt orange which is this one right here and applying that with my morphe m504 these are really pigmented so you don't need a whole lot as you can see you can already see the color well let me zoom you guys in a little bit see how it's super pigmented To build up the color, I'm going to go in with Saddle from MAC with a Morphe M503. I didn't even grab all my brushes before I started. So now taking the Morphe M506, I'm going to go ahead and dip into Cypress Umber, Umber, Umber. And I'm only applying that right here in the outer corner. Since I am doing a glitter, I want to use an eyeshadow base that kind of matches the glitter. That way it makes it pop a lot more. So I'm using the Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner Shimmer Pencil. And this one is in the color Turquoise. And now to apply the glitter, I'm using the BH Cosmetics Glitter Collection Loose Glitter in the color mermaid blue and to apply it, I'll be using the Too Faced glitter glue tap it on my eyelid since there's glitter on the cap I'm just taking that same brush I moved the camera a little bit higher so you guys can see a little better because I felt like I was like in this awkward position but now that i finished putting the glitter i'm gonna go ahead and smoke out the look a little bit more taking the same morphe m506 i'm gonna use the color carbon from mac and i'm just gonna apply that right here in the outer corner just in this area you can see that i'm just flicking my fingers a little bit and not really putting the product all over the place just in this area And we're also going to do wing liner. I feel like I've been doing so many simple makeup looks. So I wanted to really go all out with this one. So we're going to do wing liner. And I'm using the BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner. And now that we did the wing, we can go ahead and take the tape off. 
From here, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my face. And to prime, I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And for foundation, I'm using two foundations that I haven't used in a while, and it's these two right here. The L'Oreal Lumi and then the L'Oreal True Match. I'm going to mix the two together because this one is a little bit lighter and this one is a little bit more orange. This one's in the color W4.5 and this one's in the color W3. And to dip into the L'Oreal Lumi cushion, I'm going to use this sponge right here that looks really similar to one of the other sponges that I use. But this one right here is from a little store on Amazon called Momo Q. And it's cute because it comes with a little stand to put your little sponge on when it's drying. So I'm just going to use this sponge and tap it into the Lumi cushion. And just tapping that foundation in to blend it in with the other one that I put. Sometimes I even pour this into the Lumi cushion. See, like I did right here, I poured a little bit of that in there just to mix it in together. It makes it a lot easier. Once that's nice and blended into my skin, we're gonna move on to concealer. And I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I took the sponge off, so I just twist it, tap it on my fingers. And then I tap it right underneath my eye. So I'm going to let that sit for about a minute or two. So I popped on my eyebrows off camera. I use some of the new Benefit products. So I think I'm going to do an eyebrow tutorial using only the products from the new Benefit Cosmetics Brow Collection. But I'm going to go ahead and blend out my concealer using the same Momo Q Beauty Sponge. If you want a really flawless application, I always suggest going in with a beauty sponge at least one time while you're doing your foundation because I just feel like it really blends it into the skin. Like I like to use brushes most of the time and then I'll just go ahead and tap my face with the beauty sponge just to make sure it's really nice and blended into my skin. And to set that in place, I'm going to take my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and blending that right underneath. And I'm not letting it sit, I'm just blending it into my skin. Once the under eye area is set, I'm going to set the rest of my face using my L'Oreal True Match Powder. And this is in the color W6 and this is the color of my skin right now. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that with my Real Techniques Powder Brush. Just a light dusting, I'm not going heavy handed with it. To bronze up my face, I'm using the LA Girl Palette. I haven't used this one in a long time either. This one has two blush shades, a bronzer and a highlight, so I'm going to go ahead and use the bronzer. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics number two brush. For highlight, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics Champagne Collection Face Palette. I'm using the color Prosecco Pop, which is the more gold one, and applying that right on the highest points of my cheeks. Also on the tip of the nose and a little bit on the cupid's bow. For my blush, I'm gonna take the middle shade, which is a nice bronzy blush. I will be applying lashes in just a little bit, but we're gonna move on to the lip and then I'm gonna leave the lashes for last. And for my lip color, I'm just gonna use Max Lip Liner in the color Strip Down. And then mixing that with the MAC Lip Liner in the color Spice. So I went ahead and applied my lashes off camera. So to finish off the lower lash line, I have the LA Girl Endless Semi-Permanent Eyeliner. And this one is in the color Aqua. And then using Burnt Orange from the Anastasia. Modern Renaissance palette. I'm taking the E35 Morphe brush. And that is how I got this makeup look. So I hope you all enjoyed it. It is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I like the way that it turned out. But like I said, I hope you all did enjoy this video and thank you all so much for watching 
I love you and I will see you on my next video.